This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Hey guys, David Pingree here with a really cool garage build project today. Uh, it's a 2019 KTM 150 uh, with a really cool theme. And Spencer Lukesack did a Kawasaki 125 for us last year. You may have seen that, sort of the split fire uh, pro circuit replica. Or not split fire, but Chevy trucks, Kawasaki replica. Spencer, you I think you've outdone yourself. I, as much as I love that Cowie, this is the coolest looking uh, 125 retro looking build I think I've ever seen. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. You know, it's an honor to be back and just having fun watching you ride it. Well, what do we do? Tell me what you did to this thing because there's a lot of stuff done. It's a long list. Sure. So basically, the theme of the bike was based, you know, kind of off your 02 bike, obviously, minus the gray front fender and everything. And then you mix in the 03, 04 factory Red Bull bikes. So, you know, theme being mostly orange and then did some trick stuff to the frame to kind of keep that, you know, spirit alive. And then there's a there's a host of products and custom parts littered all over this bike. So uh, Matt Jory helped you put this together with Proven Moto, but the engine actually was built by someone else. Yeah, Jim Hasaker. I uh, went to him. You know, he's been building motors for some of the fast guys out there, the amateur ranks. Uh, you know, Garrett Stanky as well. So I figured if he knows this motor, might as well give it to him, massage it a bit, get some trick parts in from Europe. And then Matt obviously helps me do all the fine tuning, going through any of the custom parts, problem solving, things like that. And it's got uh, Hinson clutch, FMF exhaust system, uh, VHM head. Uh, but what about all the internals? Because you, you did a lot of stuff inside as far as coatings and cryo and all that. Sure did. So, you know, doing research based on the last bike, we saw what works, you know, what's cost effective, who is willing to help out. So after talking to Jim, he basically explained that there's uh, a, new, a new crank from VHM called an inertia crank or a momentum crank. So we had to order it out of Europe through Grant Langston, and that comes in. It's, it's got a, a special weight to it that allows it to build up momentum as it's going through you know, the stroke. And then obviously splitting the cases, we matched them, we blueprinted the motor, we shot peened everything, micro finished, and then obviously we did port work and head work with the VHM head, full hints and clutch, electron carburetor, motor tessinary, reed valves, all the fine tuning there. We even did DLC to the power valve so it eliminates some of that corrosion. Uh, so the in internals are pretty bulletproof as much as we could make them. Uh, and the, the wheel set, uh, you had the guys at W help you. And I don't know if you can tell from even the photos or video, but they look like they're glistening wet. I don't know, I don't know how they even got that look. Sure. So called in a favor over to John at W. And uh, he'd mentioned a long time ago he did a wheel set for, for Grant, wanted to do his 01 GP replica bike. So we actually got the hub sent over from Talon, raw from Europe, and then we took him over to a guy who does industrial nickel plate, basically building cars for Barrett Jackson. So if you imagine that kind of high quality into a motocross hub, it's a little insane, but uh, we figured we'd do it. Well, it's beautiful looking. I mean, the, he's got the works Brembo brakes, the crep, crefted the suspension on the front of this thing, and all the, the coating on the sliders. Um, I mean, it, you, you just crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's here. Thanks. Yeah, uh, with Kreft, you know, this is my first time running them. Uh, actually, by um, recommendation from you, watching one of the videos you did, I think, a year or two ago. So, reached out to Adam and Matt, and they were willing to help me with it. So, then we sent everything off to get uh, DLC, things like that. The coil on there is a prototype, titanium coil, I think for the, the factory guys, but we were able to snag one. And then an X-Trig preload adjuster to get rid of those plastic nylon rings which no one likes. So addressed every issue that we would see from you know the reviews that you give on the stock bike and then took it a step further. <laughs> Several steps further. Uh, a lot of really cool Nihilo Concepts parts too. Not the, the frame guards which are cool and give you a nice grip and feel but uh, this housing is actually what all the factory teams use. It's full billet, much much stronger than the standard one that can bend in a big crash. All the caps which are all customized with your number and my number, which is actually real nice because we're both sharing the same number. And if he keeps making us bikes like this, I'm totally fine with him sharing my number. Um, so, And then little carbon pieces on the front. I mean, just the detail, the attention to detail on this thing is incredible. We could probably spend six pages showing you all those things. I'll just tell you that on the track, uh, unbelievable motor. And the one thing I, I did notice, and maybe it's the crank, it's hard for me to tell exactly, and the Electron Carb has a different feel. It's, it, I don't really know how to describe it. There's no bog, no... Uh, hesitation, no pop. It's very clean, but it just has a different feel to it. Uh, and I and I almost feel like you lose some of the initial torque that a 150 would have, sure. but it's all pushed to the middle and top. I mean, you keep this thing up in the RPMs, and good luck keeping the front wheel down. It pulls so hard 
Uh, it was literally coming out of turns and just standing up, and I'm, you know, like riding a 450. So it was a lot of fun. It, you definitely got to be on your on your game and on your toes and, and uh, be ready for it. But unbelievable horsepower. Uh, you said at, at elevation they were getting 41 out of it? Yeah, so That's we ran Utah. on the dyno. You know, Matt ran it a few times. We calculated the day was a little overcast. We know the numbers might be a little off, but we are getting about 41. So if you added another 12%, 15%, 44, 45 maybe at sea level? Maybe. Yeah, and those are crazy numbers. Uh, and you get the torque of a 150, obviously, is better than a 125. So anyway, it's it's a really fun motor. The suspension did feel a little bit firm to me, but uh, we didn't play with it a whole lot. We just, I was having too much fun to stop, to be really honest. So I just kept riding. Um, but everything else is great. We also got these ARC, what do they call them? The so the, the product is called Memlon. Memlon. Memlon is, you know, it's a, like a polyurethane plastic, so it allows you to bend, it can get in a crash, and then it actually will come back to its true shape. Yeah, we've, I've used these before, but yeah, you just, you can literally bend them down and then you'll watch them slowly bend back into shape. So if you fall, they don't break, they're pretty much unbreakable. Very cool product. Um, the foot pegs, which ones are these? So Moto Stuff helps me out not only with my braking, but they supply a lot of the titanium. And ProPeg is the brand okay. uh, coming out of the Netherlands. And this bike is littered 99% with titanium hardware. Most of that coming from Moto Stuff, and then a few parts from MetTech and Racetech titanium as well. Well, it's beautiful. Um, I love the look of it. I love the way this thing works. And uh, someone was going to be riding this, a German kid at the uh, Red Bull Straight Rhythm. So uh, I don't know if that will have passed by the time this video drops, but anyway, you'll see this bike again. Uh, thank you for building this and bringing it out to us. Absolutely, honored to be here, appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's a work of art. I hope you guys all appreciate it as much as I did. Um, awesome, so can't wait to see what he produces for us next year. All right, thanks for watching.